hello guys welcome back so today we are going to be continuing from where we stopped yesterday uh now we are in module 2 and here we'll be talking about the graphic design elements right so graphic design element just means all the components of a design so everything you can find that makes up a design they are the graphic design elements everything that's there from the text to the image to the background all of them they form the element so we are going to be examining each of them one by one and stating their function their use and then how we can understand them broadly and make use of them effectively in creating our design so let's get started the first one here is a line a line is very very common graphic design element and it's defined as a one-dimensional figure which has length but no width yeah it's just a straight one-dimensional figure right it don't have two sides it's just one a line <laughs> right it's just straight there's no um width it's just um very very small very very thin you can see the samples here you can see the samples here but you know you know like what lines are already so i will not bother talking that deep. but there are various type of lines as you can see there are broken lines there are wavy lines right this is a straight line this is a very thin line this is broken line but it's of the isics are cycle right and this is a wavy line you see so the lines come in different styles so depending on the type of uh, function you want on the design right if you want to just show a specific image right you want to point to something you can use um a normal line right if you want to divide let's say i want to divide this place right here this part of the design this part from this part you see i can use this line here right so that's what line can be used for that line can also be used to state the direction so i can say okay go slide next for the direct um, to get to the next page you understand so that's what lines are used for and we use them from time to time from time to time to segregate information to separate information you are going to be needing lines so moving on to the next we have um shape right so shapes you know what shapes are already but then just for uh the definition it refers to two-dimensional outline or form or an object this is definition right here right and they can be geometric or organic right shapes are two-dimensional yeah we have a line is 1d a shape is 2d right while form then are 3d so a shape is two-dimensional and uh, yes this has two form is that geometric geometric are the normal shapes you know the square the rectangle the triangle and all of that then organic is now free you can assume any type of form you understand like this one right here that's a cloud this one right here you can even have the shape of a mango the shape of an apple different any normal abnormal shape i mean any abnormal shape is organic why the normal ones you are co um, conversant with those ones they are geometric shape and we needing them in your designs also moving on we have form form which i just said down it's a three-dimensional stuff so you can see this blue tick right here three-dimensional you can see this phone right here so they are no longer just limited to two sides right they have length they have width and they also have a breadth so the definition they typically refers to the three-dimensional representation of an object or element right the form adds depth and volume to the design and it makes it provide a sense of realism right a structure and realism so uh, it, it looks more real when you are just using a shape for example let's go back to the it's not looking real it's not looking you know it, this one using just shapes cannot evoke emotions you understand so you have to use something real remember professional design evoke emotions make the consumer i mean the audience feel what you are communicating so form can help you with that now mind you, you know everywhere you're going to be using form but form is very very important in your design it's going to help you com um, communicate that realism you have stuff stuff like mock-up right they use 3d to achieve all of that stuff so moving on to the next because we have um long stuff to cover right now this is texture texture you see this stuff this wavy stuff at the background right there so that's texture Right, instead of having a plain background like we're having before i just did that so you understand it broadly now you can now see something different so you see this texture right here now that it does it, it refers to the tactile quality or visual appearance of a surface it adds sense of touch to a two-dimensional design creating depth and interest so rather than just having a white and black stuff the texture now brings it out and that makes it show that okay this is beyond just two colors this is beyond just a plain background right some of us are like our paint in our house instead of just having a normal paint they now add something like stones on the paint to make it have more you know feel you understand so that is texture right if you place your hand on the wall right now and then you place your hand on your hair the difference that you feel you call that texture do you understand that now so you want to add texture to your designs to also make it look better 
moving on we have color color is a very very broad that we are going to spend much of our time on color right and it's already five minutes so color it's a powerful element it conveys various meaning and emotion different colors can evoke a specific feeling or association right somebody that is sad you can if you are defining the person with the color you can just say gray you can say black you understand but somebody that is happy you want to use yellow you want to use red you understand so colors are used to evoke different emotions now mind you colors are always seen in light right you cannot see color um in darkness so they are produced when light rays fall on top fall on our eyes and you understand and then we see colors so i don't want to go to the in-depth meaning of color you don't need all that you just need to know how color uh, the definition of color in relation to graphic design because that's what we want to learn right here okay so that's color and that's stuff this stuff right here is a color code i mean it's a, this is a color wheel we are going to talk more on that uh more into the video so now colors are plenty we have um the main colors in graphic design they are the colors of the rainbow that is the roy r-o-y-g-b-i-v Right, I call it like short acronym of Roy Beef, right? But then you have your own acronym. So we're going to be looking at the colors and their meaning, right? So red is so associated with energy, with passion or danger. So you see, even when in the traffic light, red means stop, right? Red is also signify romance, red is also signify danger. So red there's energy, right? So you want to know this. So, so when you are creating a design, when you're supposed to have a like calm stuff, you don't go and use red, for example. If it's a burial flyer, you don't want to use red because you understand. Okay, so moving on, we have blue. Blue suggests calmness, trust, and professionalism. You see, that's why my brand color is blue because you know the cool, the calming, charming, in control, and professional guy, the professional company running designs. You understand? So that's why I love blue. Just signify calmness, signify coolness, always in control. Something you can trust. That's why your hospitals, right? The nurses, they wear blue, so you can trust them. Just very calm, mild color. You understand that? So moving on, we have yellow. Yellow, as I said, maybe have I said it? No, I've not said it yet. Yellow signify happiness. Right? When somebody is happy, even the sun rising is yellow. So signify happiness, signify hope, and also caution. You've seen your wet floor sign, right? Caution, there's water here, but it's even less. Even in your caution, you see it's red, that is even the main thing here, red, right? But the main stuff of yellow is that it signify happiness and hope, right? Moving on, we have um, green, green. You know green green all nature is green from the grasses to the hills to the vegetation to the trees so green green signifies nature it signifies growth and tranquility but right? it's the closest to blue but right? we are going to talk about warm and cold colors shortly so green and blue they are warm colors and they also they always signify that calm and relaxing nature you understand so when you are using maybe your brand talks about growth talks about increase talks about nature green is the color for you moving on purple purple is associated with luxury creativity sophistication in the ocean times it's associated with wealth also right you see a guy had purple lining in the bible they will talk about it when in person was wealthy right so purple associated with creativity one of my mentors king benji he uses purple which shows creativity i also like purple but i Blue is better for me, but then purple is also a very good color. Moving on, orange, orange. This is why I was using before before I converted to blue, right? Orange also conveys energy, enthusiasm, and words. Orange is all like in between red and orange, right? Red shows too much energy. Yellow shows, you know, middle energy. I'm um, low energy, but orange now is just that, right? You know, it's just like gray. How gray is in between white and black? You just find gray there. Same thing. Orange is between red and yellow, so. So, so signify warmth, enthusiasm, and energy. Okay, then black, black, black. No black now. Black implies implies sophistication, formality, or mystery. Somebody that wants to be mysterious, somebody that also wants to be scary sometimes. You know, they use black. You know, somebody that is want to look cool, black all the time. So that's that's what black means. I, and then there's white. White signifies purity cleanliness you know holy men right if so so example is like bishop oedipo always wearing white suits pastor chris white suits see so that even the holy ghost descending white dove you understand those stuff so white signifies purity spirituality cleanliness all of that stuff okay so moving now now we're talking about some terms in color quickly very quickly before our times we already um 
it must stem it away. So talking about the color wheel now, the color wheel is circular, it's a circular diagram. Now all these colors they are arranged in an order, just like how you have your periodic table in chemistry where all the elements are arranged, you know, hydrogen, helium, they are arranged in specific order according to the atomic number, right? Same thing here, colors are arranged in a specific order. So this first thing right here, this is a color wheel and this is a color spectrum. The color spectrum color wheel, they are just arranged, they are, they are not mixed together, right? Color spectrum, they are mixed. So from the color wheel and color spectrum now you can now determine uh, which colors are complementary because just like the popular law opposites attract same thing with color right when you're using a red color right here this other one in this other side that is the blue they you can go with it they can complement each other they call this complementary color color that are found in opposite side of the color wheel you understand so that's what the color wheel is you're going to need to understand the color wheel more right you can do more research to just understand color deeply so when you are using colors for your design you have uh you know exactly what you're doing but don't worry we are going to cover some of the main stuff you need to know right here in this video moving on now we talk about i told you before we are going to talk about warm color now warm color there's warm color there's cold color there's neutral color so warm color they are red orange and yellow and what they do is over they evoke warmth and energy remember evoke i told you that the professional definition of graphic design is that it evokes emotion so that is why you are learning colors because if you don't know how to understand and use colors well you cannot be able, you will not be able to evoke the emotions of people it's the colors that bring it out you understand colors bring burst foster emotion so when you use warm color this is what you're attracting warm and energy so you want somebody to be feeling energized you don't use green eh? you use yellow warm i say yellow orange and red right okay those are those are the ones then we have warm color that's warm color now cool colors right you want calmness you want tranquility somebody should just show your business and just be relaxed with it just like it and be able to trust you easily that's why i use blue right blue green with purple they can achieve those goals for you calmness tranquility a brand that people can trust even though the other ones i mentioned they can also trust them too but this is more id because this is the identity right those ones can serve two purposes right but this one blue green purple their identities calmness tranquility professionalism so then we have the neutral colors neutral colors they are not they can be used as both warm they can be used as both cold they don't apply in any cases right they are just there they don't have they don't take sides right so uh you, you have white you have black and you have gray which is in between white and black so that's neutral colors and then we have a tint now these are those graphic design um color terms you should be familiar with because you're going to be needing them to create backgrounds when you design so tint is when you add the white color to make a color lighter so you use gradients for this stuff gradients we'll explain that shortly it happens when they are two or more colors combined together so a tint happens when it's a white you can see this this right here is a blue you see it's a blue but white was added to it it's a blue color but white was added to it so we call it a what tint now the next one is a call a shade shade now when black is not added to that color it makes it a shade so when white is added it's called a what tint when black is added they call it what shade uh -huh. it applies to all colors not just blue you understand so moving on gradients as i've said two or more colors you see there's purple here there's black in some cases it is three colors in some cases i think three colors should be the highest you don't want to use four you're not creating a rainbow you understand so uh two three colors highest that's what gradient means combining them in canva when we start practical you're going to see how to get you know gradients and all of that stuff so now a hex code now when you are starting also when i'm like for example when i'm designing i want to go online and source for colors so i'll be looking for okay what color can rhyme with blue what color can rhyme with red so there are some places where you can get hair code or they call them color code now this color code are what you come and input into your canva you see this place right here already you see when we start practice you're going to see it. this place right here, when you enter your color you're going to see its provision right this part so that's where you input your hair code imagine you input the hair code the color that you saw right you are going to get exact that exact same color on your canva you understand so the hair code they are just um specific numbers representing a color did you get that now yeah so and finally you have saturation and value and value saturation increases the intensity of a color right so if i want to make something if i want to saturate it just like saturate saturate means like let's say in school you have concentrated acid you have dilute acid concentrated meaning the acid content there is very very high so when that one touch you your body can burn you can peel your skin right so it's very high that's the same thing that applies to color you have to, it increases the intensity of that color. When if you reduce the saturation, you see that ah, the color, the color, I mean the color, yes, it turns to black and white. But when you reduce the saturation to zero, that's what happens. 
that's what saturation is right just like reducing the acidic contents now make it so dilute that somebody can even drink the acid and not feel it <laughs> okay and then the next thing is the final thing here is the value value is just adding light or dark to a color so when you increase the bright they will in canva they call it brightness if you increase the brightness of the color it adds more light reduce the brightness it makes it dark so that's what value is i believe you've learned something today so next video we're going to be talking about type and text because i don't want this video to be very long we are already 15 minutes here we are going to continue same graphic design elements but we'll be starting with what text and what types are thank you so much for watching